today we're going to talk about the DAT 2020S system. It's an inflatable decon shower system that's going to allow you to quickly set up and begin decontamination of either your responder team or uh, the civilian public. So I'll cover the unit itself, the elevation grids, the lighting that's included in the unit, the built-in plumbing system. And I'll talk about things like the sump pump, the wastewater bladder, and the water heater. So I'm going to show you how to set up the DAT 2020S system. We're going to start with the inflatable decon shower itself. You'll see it comes in this nice carrying pouch. I'm simply going to unfurl the pouch and then set up the unit to be inflated. Uh, one suggestion we would make is always use a ground tarp. Uh, if you're on concrete or a gravel surface, uh, that could be rough enough to make abrasions on the unit. And so to protect the quality of the unit, you always want to make sure to use a ground tarp. The other suggestion, and you'll see as I do this, is the carrying pouch. Just leave that underneath the unit itself. You'll spread that out as flat as you can and then inflate the unit right on top of its carrying pouch. That way, when it's time to put everything away, it's right there where it needs to be. So let me go ahead and get started. Now that my carrying pouch is spread out nice and flat, you'll see that the unit is first folded in half and then folded in thirds. So I'm just going to unfold it and prepare it for inflation. You'll want to locate the berm that has the fill valve and the overpressure valve. It also has your pickup hose for your water supply. So most of the action on the DAT 2020S is on one berm. You will want to make sure to have this in a position where one of the team members on your first response team can control this area. So now that I have the unit all spread out and ready for inflation, I'm going to turn to an accessory that comes with your unit. This is what we call the inflator deflator. It's an electric powered pump, air pump, and it also has this fill cone on the unit. So the cone is fitted with a rubber gasket to give a ni nice tight connection to the fill port. So you're just gonna put this on the fill valve, turn and lock that in place. Once that's locked in place, you'll just flip the unit on to start filling the DAT 2020S. <clears throat> As the unit starts to stand up, you want to go ahead and stage yourself in position because it's actually been turned about 90 degrees. So as it starts to support its own weight, you will just gently lift it up and let it pop into position. And then you want to inflate the berms until they're about the pressure of any type of sports ball, a football, a basketball, a volleyball. Once the berms are nice and firm to touch, that's plenty of pressure to hold it in place and set up the rest of your accessories. So simply turn off your inflator deflator, give yourself a quarter turn to release this, and then very important, make sure that this yellow valve is in the out position. If this gets depressed, you'll hear that that's how you start to release the air. And then there's also a protective cap here so that you can secure that. That way it won't get uh, bumped and released while you're in the middle of your decon operation. As a substitute method for filling your decon shower system, you can actually use high pressure cylinders. Now these don't come with the unit. The 
electric inflator deflator is what you get with the system but if you have cylinders on hand and for some reason maybe you're in a power outage situation you could use cylinders to inflate the unit you would simply connect the high pressure hose that does come with the DAT 2020S system uh, you would connect this in to your uh, cylinder of course tighten that all the way down and then you would connect this quick connect fitting right here on this inflation nozzle. Uh, there is an over relief valve, an over pressure valve, and as soon as this actuates, which is saying there's too much pressure in the berms, you're gonna wanna secure the air source. I would also recommend you do not try to fill this up off an air compressor or plant air, because again, you could burst the seams on the unit. FSI also thought to put a little tether on the high pressure hose. So simply take this small tether and connect it to the D-ring right here so that there's not an accidental release of the high pressure hose. I also want to show you the accessories that come with the unit just uh, to further secure the unit or to make repairs if needed. Uh, so one of the things that you'll notice that comes in this accessory bag is a repair kit. Inside the repair kit, you have some swatches of material that match up with the DAT 2020S materials and a tube of glue that you could use to make uh, small repairs to either rips or punctures that may occur over use of the unit. Uh, you've also got a, a staking system so that if you were set up on soft ground, then you could use these tent stakes and the included hammer to secure the unit in a high wind situation. If you're on a hard surface, you can use the ropes in conjunction with either buckets of water or buckets of concrete if you wanted to go that far to secure the unit in high wind situations. You've also got the instruction manual in here. And then your high pressure hose, like I showed you, if you wanted to use a cylinder to fill the unit instead of the inflator deflator. And then finally, your accessories for the LED lighting. So you'll see how we can connect a power supply and then put on shore power and you're gonna have LED lighting already inside the unit. So this is the DAT 2020S fully inflated. The plumbing system is automatically installed so there's nothing you need to do for the internal plumbing of the system. Uh, you'll see on the far side that I've got my input for my water source. The unit comes with four elevation grids. This just helps the person that's being deconned to be up and out of the gray water. I also want to point out that there's two doors and two windows on the system. The doors can be rolled up and out of the way or remain in the down position if you needed some modesty uh, for your patient or for the team member of your response team. Uh, there's also uh, skylights in the top so that if you're daytime operations, you'll get that uh, ambient light in. But as I mentioned, you also have an LED light strip to provide light in a, in a nighttime operation situation. On this side of the unit is an ejection port where you could uh, pass out uh, valuables, you could pass out dirty clothing, uh, dirty suits, whatever you want. I've seen some teams set this up to dump right into a bin or an overpack drum. Now that Steve has the system ready for use, I want to talk about actually flowing water. It's important to mention that the system uses nominal water pressure, roughly 55 PSI. So with that said, we're talking about standard garden hose fittings. The system comes with three different size hoses, and really it's just for your use, your versatility, whatever works for you. Uh, we have a 50-foot section, a 35-foot section, and a 15-foot section. Again, these can be used in conjunction with your garden hose from your response team. So with that being said, the first thing we're going to look at, now that Steve has our elevation grades in place, is the sump pump. We can set this in on the berm itself and then feed our cord through the Velcro opening to our power source. This berm can hold up to 100 gallons of water, but it's important to mention we never want to get it that full. This sump pump will self-actuate and keep that gray water or dirty water at a very low level feed that sump pump to our 150 gallon wastewater bladder. Here we have a quarter turn ball valve. We want to make sure that that's open before operation 
so our water flows smoothly into our wastewater bladder. A self-actuated air release valve is on the top, so as the bladder gets full, the air will release. And then finally, once we have the bladder full, we have an inch and a half connection here with a quarter turn valve where we can release this water and remediate it based on local regulations. The next thing we want to do is turn our attention to our on-demand water heater. Notice this is already fixed and assembled to a portable hand dolly. When we talk about the water heater, the on-demand water heater, we have two sides. We have an inlet for our cold water, and that can be identified underneath by a blue label. And then we have an exit hose, which ultimately is going to be connected to the front side of our shower system. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the propane tank that is securely fastened to the unit. Again, it's important to note the propane tank does not come with the system. This is something that will be sourced by your team. Once the propane is turned on, we're going to plug the water heater in. Then we're going to take our hoses and we're going to go ahead and make our connections. At that point, we can turn on and start flowing water. If I turn the unit around, you're going to see a digital thermostat. You'll simply power it on and use the up and down arrows to determine your temperature that you want for your system. Ideally, 120 degrees is what we're going to want for our shower system. And again, this is something that can be controlled from here. We can raise that or lower that based on your needs. The next item that's included with the DAT 2020 system is the detergent injector. Keep in mind, this is an inline ejector. So what we have is an inlet in, the water flows this way, and this is inline out. This is going to be on the hot side of our water heater. What's really cool about this is we have enough hose on this ejection unit that we can put this in the reservoir of our choice based on the solution deemed appropriate for your response or your mission. On the top, we have a control knob. If we turn counterclockwise and the knob comes out, that means that the injection of soap is flowing. If we push in and turn clockwise, this turns the injection off and the soap is no longer or the solution is no longer flowing, but you will still have that continuous water flow. The final accessory that I want to mention is the backpack sprayer. This is something that can be used in conjunction with our inline injector or it can be used standalone. Really it just again speaks to the versatility of the system. This is here for your needs, your purposes, however you want to incorporate it into your decon line. So once you're ready to put the unit away, you're just going to reverse all the steps you did to set it up. You're going to disconnect your water lines, make sure you drain out any water. Uh, you want to try to make sure that inside the unit is as dry as you can get it, especially if it's going to be stored for a long period of time. You're going to remove your sump pump. You're going to remove your elevation grids. You can go ahead and secure the power supply for the LED strip on the inside. Once everything's been removed, now you can go back to your inflator deflator assembly to go ahead and deflate the unit. You can simply start by opening up the fill port and then simply depressing this button and pushing it so that it locks in the open position and you'll hear right away the air will start to escape. As it starts to come down, you just want to let this gently come down and give it about a 90 degree twist. Make sure this is set up all nice and square. And as that air starts to deflate, you can take your inflator deflator assembly, connect it to the valve. Again, you can twist and lock, and there is an O-ring on there to give you a nice tight fit. I've reversed my fill hose, so now that it's going to be my suction hose, and then again, I'm just going to turn on my unit to pull the air out of the system. Once all the air is out of the system, you'll fold it back the way it started 
and then you'll use that black pouch that we left underneath the unit in position and then wrap it back up and store it however you choose to locally. Thanks so much for your time and attention to learn about the DAT 2020S system, the inflatable decon system from FSI North. Thanks so much.